Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome to our home sweet home. Thank you so much for stopping by. We're so glad to have you here. I want to start it off by um, our outside, and here we are just raking our leaves from our beautiful red maple tree. We are in Texas, so our winters aren't as cold as some of you guys out there, but it is beautiful nonetheless. Christmas is such a special time for me and my family, so we try to decorate and make our home feel special and warm for the holidays. All of the beautiful warm glows and sparkling lights make our neighborhood so lovely this Christmas time. As you walk in to your right will be our dining room and I just love all of this warm glow coming in from the sun rays and all of the reds and silvers and greens. Here on my stand I have my collection of Santa mugs. I have some new, some old, some vintage, and they just bring so much joy when I see them. They really are a big hit here in our household. And on the side, I have these beautiful Christmas cards from sweet friends and family, along with my girls' Christmas art when they were little. I always have to add a little piece of their work to everything we do because they do enjoy decorating with me. And I know these will be memories that we will cherish for years to come. For the hutch, I added some of these darling little mushrooms that I purchased last year on clearance. And I just think they give the right amount of whimsical and magical touch to our hutch. Along with some jadeite and of course white pottery and ironstone. Inside of my ironstone terrine, I added this beautiful Christmas tree. Now for the heart of the home, our kitchen, I just sprinkled in bits and pieces of Christmas all over. Of course, we love to bake during those cold winter days, so we have this jadeite bowl filled to the top with cookie cutters for me and the girls to use. On the side of our sink, we have this little arrangement. Mrs. Meyer's soaps and greenery are always a must. And with a beautiful view like this, I have to let nature take center stage in our kitchen. All I did on this side was add some festive ribbon to our canisters. I just love how sparkly and beautiful it makes them look. For only a couple of dollars, you're able to change the look of your everyday things. Hearing the joyful laughter coming from the living room makes this view so magical. So this is how our hot cocoa village area turned out and I absolutely love it. 
I had already most of these items on hand. I like to go thrifting and shopping for sales so that I can create magical spaces using little to no money at all. It really just makes our hot cocoa nights really fun. Since the girls are in charge of making our hot cocos, they really have enjoyed this little space so much this year. Now moving on to our family room. As you walk in and you look up, you see this beautiful thrifted mistletoe hanging. This is our mantle this year and I really just kept it very clean and simple and I think it turned out very beautiful. I mixed in natural elements with warm lights and of course my collection of mercury glass trees along with this beautiful golden mirror. Now for the crown jewel, our Christmas tree. This is how it turned out this year. I just added this paper star on top as our tree topper. The only thing I did was added the little garland all around the tree, but the rest of the work I have to give credit to my girls because they decorated it so well. I just gave them packets of tinsel to go crazy with and put around our tree and um, they put all of our ornaments as well these are all our special ornaments we don't really have a theme and our tradition is to get a new ornament for each person of our family every year so it is really exciting to see um, how our tree is looking fuller every year And I know I say this every year, but this year really just flew by. It's crazy to believe that it's almost Christmas, but I am just trying to slow down and enjoy every moment I can. On our rocking chair, we have this vintage little Santa pillow that I got a couple of years ago. I just absolutely fell in love with his sweet little face. So here on our side table, I added a few sprinkles in of Christmas. I have this paper tree that my daughter made a few years back. And this is the only new item that I added was this ornament from Walmart. It was very inexpensive and I'm obsessed with the pink car. And then right behind the pictures is a glitter tree that I purchased from Dollar Tree a couple years back.
for our coffee table i just simply added these two mercury glass trees and i usually wait till after christmas to purchase mine and i purchased them from home goods or marshall's and then i have this yummy smelling candle from trader joe's Winter for me symbolizes coziness, so I always have to add a couple of throws to our couches along with these textured pillows. So as you noticed, we didn't have our stockings on our fireplace. We opted out and decided to hang them here on our railing. We did this last year and the girls really loved it, so they asked me to do it again this year. I know Santa will love going up and down the stairs. This little snowman here is another special ornament that we have. It belonged to my mother-in-law and he just hangs here on our coat closet door. Now for our bedroom. This is how it turned out, very, very simple. I just added this cute little white tree on our side table. And I just put our Christmas pictures up. And at the foot of our bed, I added this cute little thrifted stocking. I've been having this little guy for years and I thought it would be cute to add here for a simple Christmas touch. As well as our beautiful green and white quilt. Moving along to our upstairs landing, we have my vintage chair and I just simply tied a velvet ribbon around these two wreaths. As you walk over to the right, we have my daughter Denise's room and I always strive to make their room whimsical during the holidays. They absolutely love it. It really just makes my month watching them come into their room and seeing everything decked out. They absolutely love it and I think that's a great reason why they love decorating with me so much so um, I just love doing that together So on her dresser she has this beautiful nutcracker and then I also added this little salt lamp that's shaped like a moon and of course more twinkle lights. This gingerbread family looks so cute here in this little corner. Now moving along to our second family room. This room reminds us of camping so I had to go all out and make it as fun and Christmassy as I could. So I pretty much have a little bit of gingerbread sprinkled in everywhere upstairs and then I have these beautiful vintage sheets that I thrifted a while back. And then this lovely little corner is such a cozy spot for my girls to play in or read books. I added this little wicker house that I also thrifted 
and I just simply added some twinkle lights and some Christmas trees and called it done. Now for their little mini tree, they decorated all of themselves. These are all of their Disney um, ornaments and some thrifted ornaments as well. I just really love the turnout of this tree. It's so girly, so sparkly, and so sweet. So now let's go ahead and head to Danielle's room. Again, I just spread a little bit of Christmas in each corner of her room. Here in her side table, she has her nutcracker. And I like mixing the red and the pink together. I think it goes very well together. And of course, she is a big fan of pink. And one of my absolutely favorite things to do for the holidays is use the girls' books as decor. All of these books were thrifted, so they all cost less than a dollar each. And I love going during the season and off seasons and look for holiday books that I can display for them. And they can also double up as stocking stuffers or gifts. And then I also like to add a sweet little personalized note inside along with the date and the year they were gifted. On her accordion hooks, she has her little special items displayed. She has a stocking and her festive dress ready for school tomorrow. Back downstairs, we have the fire going on and we are ready to snuggle up in the couches and watch a Christmas movie. What a magical sight this is. Well friends, this is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday filled with love and I hope everyone gets to enjoy it with their most special people in their life. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.